social friends. <laughs> it's what's today? Sunday. Sunday. It's Sunday. Uh, we're about to go climb up the Eiffel Tower. There she is. It's a rainy day, but we're gonna make the most of it. We're we already had breakfast. We went on a nice morning walk. Like we're we're, we're doing this. We're doing the thing, even though it's rainy. Uh, so now we're just waiting for our tour guide so that we can start to climb up. 674 steps to the second floor of the tower, but we're doing it. You cold? A little bit. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of stairs. I see them already. How you feeling? <laughs> I did it at the gym, so I, I should be able to. stairs for breakfast. <laughs> that doesn't sound healthy. <laughs> <laughs> but we made it to the first floor. That's Dom Samara's there. Beautiful. How are the stairs for you? Alright. <laughs> we took more pictures and videos while on the tower, so here are a few of our favorites. We only went up to the second floor as Extreme Heights are not our friend, but you can see the summit pictured here. After all that climbing, we took the elevator back down. We just got down off of the Eiffel Tower. Very, very tall, very windy up there, but who was nervous going up the stairs? I was a little nervous. <laughs> but definitely worth it. Uh, incredible view of the city. Uh, it's a little cold though, so we're gonna go find some place to get coffee and whatnot. <laughs> How's their first croissant in Paris? That's the most beautiful thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's good, man. That is really good. Okay, first of all, texture looks fantastic. Yeah, very crunchy. You know, I like the crunch. Very good. It's a good idea. And this is just a place we just like stumbled across. We didn't even. I thought that would gain 130 pounds here. Not with all the walking. <laughs> you have these little espressos too. Perfect. With this view, no big deal. <laughs> Fun fact built in Maryland. Oh. A lot of people don't know that. He's lying. Definitely lying. After that quick break, we got on the hop on, hop off bus tour right in front of the Eiffel Tower. If you are in the city for a short period of time or just need to rest your feet, I highly recommend this bus tour. <laughs> it's a quick, easy way to see the main attractions while learning some history about everything you see. It's also a convenient way to get around the city as you can hop off at any of the main attraction stops. I might be addicted to that coffee. To espresso? Yeah, I want to know. <laughs> at this Michelin star restaurant that's styled after a fish market from Tokyo. They had fish on ice and crates and even background noise made to fully immerse you in the scene. It was a bit of a wait as they don't take reservations, but the ramen was spectacular. Even the bathroom was full Japanese decor. Next we went to Musée de la Rangerie where they had many impressive pieces from Picasso, Monet, Renoir, and more. It was probably the smallest art museum we went to the whole trip, so if you want to see some art but aren't a huge enthusiast, I would recommend this museum. If you've noticed this icon throughout the video, the attraction we are doing is covered by the Paris Pass. We purchased a 6 day pass, which we used as much as possible, as you'll see throughout this video and the next few. It includes food, monuments, some museums, and other touristy things. There are different restrictions depending what you need, but it is a big money saver if you plan to visit a bunch of places on your trip. Do your research to see if it's worth it for you, but we highly recommend it. I love art. <laughs> yeah, so we just left Musée La Rangerie, which is that right there. And we saw Monet's water lilies, which is pretty freaking cool. 
and very nice. And now we're here in the Tuileries. The Tuileries, which is part of the Louvre, or at least the gardens that used to be a part of the Louvre when the Louvre was just a castle. After it was a fortress. <laughs> There's a lot of history going on here, a lot of lessons. But we're learning and enjoying and exploring. And if you look between these two buildings, you can see Sacre-Cœur, which we'll be at in a couple days. Fun! This weather is literally like night and day <laughs> to how it was a couple hours ago. We went into the museum while it was windy and rainy and overcast and now bright sunshiny day. Reminds me a lot of Florida weather, honestly. This chain is on a dime. That's where they did um, the Beatles. Did no, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> More stairs today. <laughs> you can see outside. Legs of steel. Legs of steel. Beautiful. Watch about to start raining though. <laughs> Sakakur over there in the distance again. Montparnasse. Ch Champs Elysees. This is like a painting. <laughs> it looks fake. Ridiculous, yeah. Unreal. Love the rooftops. <laughs> You know how to open them? Nope. <laughs> if you're looking for affordable, authentic French food, I would suggest this restaurant. Our bottle of wine was only $8 and the escargot were phenomenal. We ended the day at a speakeasy located in the basement of a restaurant called Pink Mama. It had a very cool vibe to it, but a bit overpriced for the quality. We were one and done. Thank you for watching and stay tuned as we are just getting started.